Welcome back guys to part 35 of Lost Epidemic. This is Miss Kitty 2K and we have so much to explore. And I guess we have to touch almost everywhere here to see if there's something. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Where I'm going? I don't know really. Okay. Oh, uh, Catherine Ballerina. Oh, it's a pity. Uh, where am I going now? I think I'm lost here. How can I even get out of here? Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> I'm just. Oh, uh, oh. What's that? USB cable. Oh, there are so many things there, and I don't know how to unlock the part. So sad. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Shall we? I don't know. Could it be that that watch its sister Catherine won? I mean, I'd like to give it to her, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Hello. Catherine, I found something that you might want to see. Yeah. Here you go. Here you go. <gasps> oh my goodness! You found it. What is it, Cut? It's my old watch. You never strike at uh, me as a pocket watch person. It was a gift from a close friend. Well, good thing I found it. You wouldn't want to lose something close to you. You're right, Bradley. If you'll excuse me, I must leave. Okay. Okay. And what are you doing, Simon? Hello. Hello. There's too many floor tiles. I'll never count them all. Um. Okay. Oops. Hello. My name is Violet. That's my name too. Do you want some food? What the fuck? <laughs> Shit. Violet. What the hell are you doing? Brad. My door was open. Oh no. Brad, this purple kangaroo can help us. <laughs> show, show. Back to the basement, Violet. <laughs> oh. Simon, go count the floor tiles in the bathrooms. <laughs> yes, Captain. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Good boy. Goodbye, boy, Violet. <laughs> Come on now, Violet. Go back to your room. And it is so face palm. Okay, Brad. Um, I feel so sorry for her. What were you doing outside, Violet? Oh my, you touched me! Oh, sorry. My curse! You might have the curse now, too. No, Violet, it's fine. I feel perfectly normal. I can't believe I was so careless. And now you're doomed, too. I'll be fine, Violet. Tell me, how did you get out? Father, let me go. What? Father came to me and said to go in the damn woods. He did? Where is he? I don't know. I thought I would find him outside. Shit. That's creepy as hell. Look, Violet. Father Parker is using you for sex. Nonsense. You're literally pregnant. That's how sex works. Oh, yeah, but Father needed me for his seed. Why did he need you for? Father says I'm special. How? I don't understand. Father Parker is a man of God, but he needs to spread his message and my body can help him. How does your body help Father Parker spread his message? What message? I don't get it. I can't say fully I understand either. But I am important to him. I am special. I don't, don't listen to him anymore. I just want to fulfill some creepy fantasy. How do you know? It's hard to explain, but once you live here, you will see things differently. Why? This place is clouding your thoughts. It's not just you either. We are all under the spell of this place. You're scaring me, Brad. Will you still help us? Of course. I am your real hero, not Father Parker. Even if I did trust you, Elizabeth would never believe you. I touched you. Yeah. Well, look at me. I am not cursed. I don't know how it's possible. Father told me only he could touch me. But yet, you touched me and still here, unaffected. I'm going to save you, Violet. You and Elizabeth. 
Once I get out of here, I'm going to get help. If you can touch us, that would mean you could... What? No, no. Father say no. You need to stop listening to Father Parker. If you'll see him again, I want to know everything he tells you. Okay, Brad. Brad. I will trust you. Good girl. Now stay in your room. Yes, Brad. Okay. Shall we check on Elizabeth? Did Violet find Father Parker? I found her looking for him, but you two need to stay here. Don't listen to Father Parker. I begged him and he didn't listen. What? I heard Father standing outside, speaking to Violet. He wouldn't answer me. It was like it didn't matter to him. Only Violet matters to him. That's kind of weird. Maybe he's not into blondes? I didn't know what's going on. Perhaps he only has enough power to help one of us. I have more power than him. I will help you both. Soon I may have no choice but to trust you. Um. <sighs> Did Violet find Father Parker? Oh, sorry. Again. Never mind it. I'll just skip it soon and console and go. Oh my god, I don't know what to do now. Apart from maybe checking on the girls. Oh fuck. What was that noise? It was coming from Kat's room. Oh shit, Amber is coming. Oh fuck. Mm-hmm, okay. She didn't see me. Yes? What are you doing today, Bradley? Just killing me. Sorry, just kill it. <laughs> Not committing suicide. I mean, just killing time. Trying to hook up. You've had sex with everyone but me. Not everyone. Oh, that's right. Of course not, Valerie. You are her husband's brother. Yeah, I know that. But I'm still trying to get some action with her. Bradley, think of your old brother. What would he say if he knew you had no such naughty thoughts? I don't really care what he thinks. He's not the boss of me. I am my own man, and if I want to fuck Val, then that is my business. You are so bold, Bradley. You really love to live the life you want, don't you? Of course, Cat. How else should someone go through life? Would you ever see yourself being with one woman? If it was the right woman? Have you ever met someone you thought could be the right woman? You, too bad I can't be with you. Oh, Bradley... I need someone I can f uh, make love to. I understand, Bradley. You must do what your heart tells you. Yes, God. That's all any of us should do. So what? Well, I, it was a very happy ending if I could stay with Kat. What do you need, darling? Let's talk to her. Hi, Val. What are you doing? Oh, I was just going go to go outside, but then I remembered that body locked the door. Why do you want to go outside? Did you know this place at the hiking club? Yeah, buddy told me. I found some water filters kits upstairs earlier. They appear to be part of a survival kit. Good thing we don't need any survival stuff. I'm not so sure. What if we lose access to water? What do you mean? The flooding is likely causing contamination. It's not unheard of water supplies could become contaminated or be shut off in situations like this. I guess I never thought about losing water after a fluid. Kind of ironic. I wanted to test the filter on an uncontaminated water source, but I guess I can wait. Can't we just collect the top water while we still have it? I worry it's already contaminated. What about the water fountain over by the entrance? I thought about that, but remember that I had poured serum into it. Wouldn't the filter get rid of the serum contents? I just wanted to try it on a fresh source, as much as you may sorry as much as you may want all us girls drinking that contaminated water, you dirty boy. Haha, <laughs> you know me too well, well. I might be able to help. How so? Do you know a way outside? Maybe I do. I don't know how long we may be here, so if you can find us a better water source that will be wonderful bread, I'll do my best. Here is an empty galloon bottle. Fold it up, and I will test out the survival filters. Okay. Sounds like a plan, Bo. You're so helpful, Brad. Anything for Valerie. So, yeah. Let's go to the dim woods for a while. 
Oh my god. This pond is not connected to the main river. I wonder if it's man-made. And I can use the galloon jug. This pond water never touched the flood waters, so whatever nasty chemicals might be in the flood waters won't be here. Okay. Shall I bring it to battery? Basement. Um, yeah, well. What do you mean, darling? Did you find sorry, did you find any water? Yeah. Well, I found a pond in the woods. How did you get outside? I broke the lock on the front door. Bradley, what if Tillman comes for us? I'll protect everyone. That's brave of you, but I don't think you'd be much of a match for Tillman. You know, well, I'll do anything to protect you. That's sweet of you, Brad. Uh, you know I love you. I know, Brad. And I love you, too. Hi, Cut. What are you doing up here? Oh, Bradley. I was just... Just... <laughs> what the fuck? Yes? Bradley, I am sorry to disappoint you. What's wrong, Cat? I can't have sex with you. As a woman of God, I am not equipped to handle raising a child. I've chosen my path, and it's too late to change. A child? Who said anything about a child? <sighs> if we were to make love, I would bear your child. Would I not? Hell oh, no, I am a master at pulling out. The risk is too great. My purpose in life is to serve God, and anything that risks my devotion is out of the question. What if I told you there was a way to guarantee that you won't get pregnant? are speaking about a condom. So, you know what is it? Yes, I've had to deal with these misbehaving students bringing them here. If I had a condom then, it would be safe. Would it still be sex if you used one of them? Uh, if you think about it, not really, because my dick wouldn't be really touching your pussy. I suppose you're right, Bradley. Maybe we could pretend while using the condom. Do you have one? Oh shit, no. Oh. I can find one, just give me a moment. But where would you find such an item in a church? It won't be easy, but I'll find one. Yeah, maybe one of those classrooms. I'm not even sure, but... The elevator. We need to complete many tasks. It's two more are way to go. Uh, still checking here, guys. Okay. Who in the building might have a condom you could use? Well, hello. Amber, do you have a condom? Why do you ask? Who are you going to use it with? Catherine. No way. Are you serious? She agreed? Well, I convinced her that it wouldn't count if I used a condom. Clever boy. I have one in my car, but the front door is locked, so no luck for you. Actually, I unlocked the front doors, but don't tell anyone. I don't want people becoming worried. Nice job, Bradley. You're so smart. I know. Now, can I have that condom? Sure. Here are my keys. It's in the glove box. De thanks, Amber. So let's immediately go outside and check if we can get it. I don't remember which car was hers. Okay. It's locked. And you found a condom. And we can go back in inside. And I don't know if I have to give back the keys to her. Hello. Thanks for the condom, Amber. Oh, yours, Brad. I won't need it with you here. You like feeling my load inside, don't you? Of course, Brad. But what if you get pregnant? I don't know. I know I should care, but I just don't. Neither does Mrs. Bancroft. The both of you could be pregnant right now. I should be worried or mad. But I thought it's just making me wet. Maybe it's the serum. Well, it's too late now. Give me my keys back. Have fun with Catherine. Very good. Yes? I can never be pregnant. It is forbidden. That's why they invented condom skit. And here we are. I have one of these. I found one. Look. We can have sex now. Oh my. I didn't think you'd really find one. What? Are you saying you don't want it to do it right now? I'm... I'm so conflicted. I feel two sides pulling me in opposite directions, but it must be wrong. These feelings must be the work of the devil. Why? Just because it will bring you joy? Oh, Bradley, you're making this so difficult. Oh. 
Oh shit, I hope I didn't fuck this up. Where is she gone? Where the fuck are you going? Why? <clears throat> okay. Okay. I'm looking to it. Can I actually see it? Bonus area. Let's see. Amber, Valerie, Catherine. Oh, I have to buy something. Oh my god, yes. Beautiful. What's this? Sexy nun. Ooh. We still miss something for the key to lost is 23 paces apart. The code for th the one to win my heart. Okay, I think I'll close it here, guys. I hope you enjoyed. This was one of my best episodes so far. See you in my next video. Love you.